Yes, I know it looks like Chucky attacked me, but this is called 22 year old acne and it's the worst. Adult acne can just go. I was doing fine without you. See ya, bye. I'm Shanice Teresa and welcome to my YouTube channel. As you notice, I am James Charles all glammed up. I decided to jump on the bandwagon of this follow such and such makeup tutorial and I was like, who would I do? Let's do James Charles. So this glam is brought to you by James Charles. I went from a zero to a 10, not so quick. This took a long time. If you wanna see how I got this James Charles look, then keep on watching. So looking at my makeup supply that I have, I kind of wanted to look at a beauty guru that uses like the Jaclyn Hill palette because that's what I use on the daily. So James Charles did this one. Hopefully this kind of turns out. So I just typed in James Charles Morphe palette. So this is just um, his first impressions of the Morphe palette slash get ready with me, which is perfect because I wanted to do his whole makeup routine. So. Let's get into it. So considering this look has like a burnt orangey blue vibe, that's why I'm wearing this. This turns out terrible. I mean, at least it matches what I'm wearing. Hoping it looks like that. Oh, okay. Okay, sister. Hi guys, James Charles is gonna welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm actually really nervous. <laughs> So, let's get started. As always, I'm just priming my face using my Benefit Professional Primer. Oh, okay. You guys know this is like my ride or die primer and I pop. Okay, so I don't have the Benefit Pore Professional Primer or whatever it's called. I'm just gonna put this on my face to prime. So he's just going all in. I've honestly never switched up unless I find something better. Skin has always been something that has been like a major problem area for me in my I life. honestly I'm think really that happy. the Benefit but one and the, the Too Faced one so, that I use is so pretty well much time. the same. So for foundation today, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick in the shade of Y at 325. Okay, so one, James Charles is not the same color as me, so I obviously cannot use the exact same foundation he uses. And I've never tried or used a stick foundation, so I'm just gonna stick to what I know best, which is the Fenty Beauty foundation. And I use the color 300, which is way darker than what James uses, I'm sure. He's just putting it all over his face, so that's what we're gonna do too. And he's obviously going in with a beauty blender as well. But his is obviously clean and mine just looks like it should be thrown in the garbage. I need a new one. I know, it's disgusting. We can pull this off. All right, so I just went ahead and applied my Shape Tape Concealer in the shade oh. light and then- Oh, he's already on his concealer, okay. Um, okay, so he's using his Shape Tape Concealer, which is awesome because I can use mine too. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with my shape tape concealer now when i'm blending this out i would typically go on top of my eyelid because i just that's just a step that i'm gonna skip because normally beauty gurus use an eyeshadow primer and i'm just like not about that because that's an extra step that i don't have time for so i just use concealer to prime but we're not gonna do that today because james doesn't do that and james knows best okay we are concealed and i'm ready to see what he has next for us well, as usual, my damn beauty blender, and now the next step is always to set my face. So yes. for today, I am using a new setting powder, and this oh. is the RCMA No Color Powder. You may have seen this before because I know a lot of people talk about it. And never seen it. it. Okay, so he's using a setting powder that I've never used before, but um, the Laura Mercier setting powder probably is just as good, probably even better. So I'm just going to stick with what I know best because that's all I got. You've used it. I apologize. This is not your first impressions, it's my first impressions. And I have never tried this before, so I'm gonna use it today. You guys know the setting powder is a little bit of a touchy subject for me, so I'm actually super nervous to try a new one, but I've heard a lot of good reviews, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Oh, okay. so that's good because we don't get those like- So he's using the beauty blender, which is what I use too, so perfect. But so under the eye. Okay. It's done a really good job of like mattifying and setting everything in place. As you can see, my nose definitely looks locked right in there, which is Great nope, don't got it. My nose loves to slip and slide around. <laughs> me too, me too. So he's putting on his nose. I just got it all over my shirt. I do tend to crease up there a lot. Oh, me too, sister. Lightly just dab some excess powder on my face. 
Lately, I actually have not been setting my entire face. I've been going for more of the like dewy skin. And okay, so I'm gonna do that because. Okay, so he doesn't set his whole face, but I'm gonna do that because I get very oily. Okay, now that we look like Casper the Ghost, let's see what he's got next. I've had my AC blasting all morning and all night last night, and it's still it's like a million degrees in the air, which is very, very rude and homophobic because I'm Okay, Charles, I'm done my setting spray. Let's move on. So now that my face is all set and locked right in place, the next person brushes I want to pull is actually a brush set. <gasps> James Charles not using Morphe brushes? Relax, bitch. You know okay, hold on. I chose James Charles 1 because I knew he was going to use Morphe brushes. Um, code James for 10% off. And I use Morphe brushes, so I thought this was going to be, wow, this is something else that I'm going to have that he's going to use. It's going to be perfect. And now he's saying that he's not going to use Morphe brushes? <gasps> the Jaco Hill Morphe Club is coming in about five seconds. Hold on. <laughs> Today Thanks, I want to show you guys the club that I am super duper excited about. Okay, let's skip this part because I'm not. So I'm going to grab the T27 brush on the brush set and then dip into my cap on the Okay, so I don't have the Kat Von D contour palette and I don't have that brush, so we're just gonna go in with what I normally contour with, which is a Morphe brush and this Sephora brand cheap stuff. Palette into the middle shade, and I'm going to contour and chisel out my face. Oh my god, the bristles on this are so soft. Wow, legend went off. <laughs> we gotta contour out that. Jewelry. Okay, whoa, whoa, too fast, too fast, too fast. I feel like I'm just gonna mess this whole thing up only because I don't have a huge mirror in front of me and I can't really see what I'm doing. So, I don't think it's because I'm a bad makeup artist. There's just no mirror in front of me to help me, you know? Because I'm practically blind right now because I don't have a mirror in front of me. A big mirror. Snatch her right up. And we definitely are not gonna mess out on this forehead contour. Okay. The board knows that now that I don't have a baseball hat to cover half of this region, we're gonna need to use that contour to turn this five head back into around a three head. <laughs> I'm then gonna grab the T84 brush and that's Too fast. He's already moving on to the next step and I'm still here. So let's just finish this up and then we'll get into whatever he's doing. Okay, so I'm more snatched than I normally am, but this is a James Charles tutorial and we're gonna do what he says. The shade and light palette, and I'm going to contour out my nose. Oh my. Okay, so now he wants to contour his nose. <sighs> okay. So I'm not using the same brush he's using, he's using some other bigger one, but I use this tiny Morphe brush to do so. So let's just get into the nose. That actually laid out the color so nicely. Oh, he goes right <sighs> into the. Oh, he goes right into. Okay. 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 So. Okay, he goes right into the eyebrow. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. The 182 brush okay. is shaking. Oh my god, I actually I'm shaking like, because yes, this is terrible. You better okay. work. Okay, we're just going to, okay, we're, he, I know he like snatches his nose. I don't really know how to contour my nose properly because <sighs> It's scary, one, two, I just have a big nose. So like, I really just don't know what I'm doing. He started right from the eyebrow and he brings that bad boy in to make it shanached. As he would say, ooh, that was kind of good. <laughs> I, I need a big mirror. You know what, that's as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend this bad boy out because Mm. I think I just took it away, but that's okay. Anyways. Move on to baking, I'm gonna quickly grab my T17. Baking. Also for the brush set and dip into my back, peaches blush. Oh, and he said blush. <laughs> but he said baking, I was so ready, but we already baked. Okay, so he's taking a blush. I don't have that blush. I'm just gonna use my Tarte blush that I have. And again, using different brushes. So we're just gonna dive into that and see where he puts it. Or on at the cheekbone. Okay, maybe that wasn't exactly the oh, best cheap brush. Oh, cheeks up. He goes, okay. Like, to wash the color, but... Oh, he goes, It'll okay. Do. This is right, not so normally right. So I've clearly been doing blush wrong my whole entire time because usually I put blush like here and up, but he's like, he's down here. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. Into that RCMA and powder and I'm going to bathe my face. Oh, okay. So now... 
All right, so now he's baking his nose. Why? Why do this step? This is this is too much work. This I, like I take a long time to do my makeup, but like this this is a lot. Okay, this is just like take it easy. Really hoping that because it's white. Oh oh, he's okay. This isn't the important part because this is where I messed up a lot on contour. So now he is baking his cheeks. Where is he starting from? He's starting from his like here and going down. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll brighten up everything a little bit, and if it yes. does, we're about to look so snatched. And if snatched. Can, super excited to see how this rubs off. All right, so while I was in the oven baking, I just quickly went ahead and did my brows off camera to save some time. Oh, he did his brows off camera, so I guess I'm gonna do mine off camera too, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now that brows are done, I tried to make them as thick and luscious as a James Charles eyebrow would be, but we're not working with much. Sometimes you just gotta work with what you got, and this is all I got. So now that it's been a long period of time, we're gonna go ahead and work to wipe this bake off. This Okay, so I was definitely right. The fact that it is white definitely did. We're just gonna wipe of this bad boy off. But I really, really it's a lot of powder. <laughs> did it really do anything else? I don't know. Snatch. That was stupid. I apologize. You know what I mean. All right, so I already went ahead and primed my eyelids using my Shape Tape concealer and then some more RCMA No Color Powder, as usual. So he does prime his eyelids with Shape Tape concealer. Why do it now when you could have done it then? What a waste of time. Extra steps. Okay. Eyelids primed. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the eyes, and this yes. is so, so, so exciting. Me too. And that is the Jaclyn Hill collaboration with Morgan. Ah! Now this palette is actually released, like, I can actually smell a little Ew, bit. mine's so <laughs> dirty. I use this palette every single day. I'm first going to start by grabbing the shade Creamsicle on a Makeup Shack T70 brush, and I'm just going Creamsicle. to Creamsicle. Okay. He's not showing me the colors on the palette, so I have the colors on here, and he said he's using Creamsicle. Oh, I've never used this color yet, so I'm excited. So I'm just gonna grab this brush because I don't have the brush that he has. And he's going in with like this orangey, like mac and cheese color. Should I zoom in a little more since we're onto the eyes? Probably. Okay. This is real close and personal. You can see all the spots that I've messed up so far. I'm next gonna grab the shade Hunt on my makeup shock and she Hunt. Hunt. With an S. Okay, so he's taking this. Before brush, and I'm going to buff this right into the crease because I'm going to be transitioning from a Okay, buff into the crease. Okay, so we're gonna keep this one definitely in the crease or we're gonna mess this whole thing up. This is not turning out terrible yet. I think it's all in the brush and not the artist because this is not looking that bad. I mean, it doesn't look great with my skin color, but I mean, it's applying very nicely and going where it's relatively supposed to be. One, two, orange, two, a red. Oh my god, these colors are literally blending so yeah. beautifully. I'm they, they are. To the right now. They're I'm beautiful. I'm going to grab my T63 brush and dip into the shade Jax, and I'm going to put this right in that crease for a little pop-up. Okay, oh, he's going into the crease with this. Okay, I okay, so he's oh, he's really making this pop. Okay, so this is going right in the crease. Wow, that looks like someone just punched me in the eyeball. Great. Okay. So now we need to blend her out or else it's gonna get real messy real fast. Once all those three colors are on there as well, I'm gonna dip back into cream circle and just go over those edges to make sure they are super blunt. Okay, cream skull. Is that the first thing we used? Yes. How and their transitions are almost. I really want to do a pop of blue on the eye, so with that same exact T63 brush, I'm actually going to dip into the shade Royalty, which is a metallic purple shade in this palette. Wait. But I'm going to use this as kind of a transition shade between the metallic blue that's going to go on the lid and the cranberry color that I just put in the crease. And once it's all on there, I'm going to go back. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. What did he say, Royalty? Rewind. <laughs> 
Wow. But I'm going to use this as kind of a transition shape between the metallic blue that's as well as the lid okay. and the cranberry color that I just put in the crease. Okay. And once it's all on there, I'm going to go back and look. look. So we're going to go into twerk. Oh, she's blue. She blue. I am so excited for this and I'm going to pop her right onto the lid. Oh my god, oh, my her? brush literally is not even wet either. Miss Hill, suddenly my wig. Okay, so lid. All lid. Oh, she's getting scary. I'm going to go back in with twerk now and I'm going to spread my brush using the Whoa, whoa. Okay. So now he's spritzing his brush. Just add that little more pop to the color. So we're gonna do the same. Okay, whoa. This is no longer on my lid. It is on everything. Okay, I think I wanna turn this into a little bit of a halo eye situation. So I'm oh, gonna add the same exact brush and dip into this lightest bit of pool party. Once again, gonna spritz that pool brush. Party? I'm just gonna layer that right on the center of the lid and see how that looks. Okay, pool party. Where's pool party? Pool party is this one. Oh, the other blue one. Oh, I haven't used this one either. Ooh. Okay, spritz. Pool party. And he's putting it on the center of the lid. So, ooh. Dang. So we're taking the dark blue color and we're putting it on the lower lash. And then gonna grab a dab of pool party. Oh wow. Okay. So he he. Oh wow. Okay. Ooh. Jacks, and I'm just going to blend all the connected oh, back up to the other Okay, okay. Oh, stop. So he's going back in with that cranberry colored jacks. So we're going to take a little bit of that, and he's blending it on the bottom. I just messed this eye up, but I look dead. Oh, wow. Before I move on to the lashes, I just got my MAC oh, reflex. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. This looks awful on me. Before I move on to the lashes, I just got my MAC Reflex Teal because I want the center of the lid to really, really, really pop. So I'm just gonna grab my T79 brush one last time. Okay, he's doing something that I don't know, so. He's using a different palette, which is not the point of this tutorial. Mr. James, you're supposed to stick with the Morphe palette, but we're just gonna take Pool Party and go back over the center part just to make them pop. I think I've basically got this down. His is more clean than mine is. He knows what he's doing. That is the eyeshadow all complete. For lashes, now we're gonna pop on the Makeup Shack lashes in the style of Dubai. I don't thought he was gonna use Lily lashes like he always does, but he's not. Again, of course. So I'm just gonna go in with my Lily lashes in Miami. I'm gonna pop those on, and we're gonna get back to the video. Okay, so after fighting Satan to put these eyelashes on, they're finally on. So let's see what James has to do next. Loving this look so much so far. Me okay, too. James is happy. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera quickly and I'll be right back to finish off the rest of the face. For highlighter tonight, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I am so freaking Okay, so don't have that. So we're gonna use the Maybelline Master Chrome. He's using drugstore, I'm using drugstore. Basically the same thing. Definitely not as blinding as I was expecting, but not that. The formula of this, like rubbing my brush in it, feels extremely okay, so soft, cheekbones. which is good because that means that the texture of your natural face won't show as much because I don't highlight a lot of times accentuate texture, especially for me because I have a lot of pimples in my highlight region for some annoying ass reason, but the formula of this feels really, really good. This highlighter is definitely really, really pretty, and I know this is drugstore price. I think this is like $6, so honestly for $6, it's really, really not bad. I'm just being dramatic it here. looks like he highlighted his brow bone, bone too. Did I miss that step? All right, so the last step of this makeup show is obviously going to be the liquidy doodahs, and for this, I do have a... I am so nervous for this because 
the wrong lip color can ruin this whole look and I'm living for this look right now. In the picture, it looks like that he's wearing a very light color lipstick, so one, I probably don't have the color, and two, it's gonna look hideous. Impressions, new product, and that is the brand new Jouet High Pink. Definitely don't have this. This is going to go so wrong. The closest I have is this Tarte Lip Paint. I don't wanna ruin the look. This looks terrible. Okay, so this is definitely too light for my skin. I wouldn't ever go to my lipstick container and pick this color out because it's way too light. But like, I don't hate it, to be honest. To finish off this look, I'm just going to drench my face using the Urban Decay All Liner Setting Spray. All right guys, so this is the completed full face using all first impressions glam. I am honestly so alive for this look. I love Me it too. so freaking much. Okay, so honestly, I'm kind of living for this. This is what I ended up with. He's the makeup artist, I am not, but I think it looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. And I would never dip into any of these colors either in the palette because that cheesy color was not something that I would typically go for, which I don't think it looks that bad. The blue looks fabulous, it makes my eyes pop, which I think is fantastic. I'm living for it. I'm actually probably gonna change my shirt because this makeup's too glam for what I'm wearing, but that's okay. So overall, following the makeup tutorial was actually a lot of fun. I think I did fabulous. I'm living for this look. I wish I was going somewhere, but I think it looks really good. I hope that James actually thinks I did fabulous because I think I did fabulous. And I'm really, really, really like, thank you, Jesus, that he didn't do any type of eyeliner. I can't do eyeliner for the life of me, so I'm really glad he didn't do it. But you know what? I think it's great. I hope that you guys think the same. If you think it kind of looks relatively the same, comment down below. I think James is quaking. You better watch out, James, because here I come. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. This is honestly the best journey ever. I'm glad that all you guys are subscribing and liking. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Click that little notification bell, and I will see you next time with a new video. Bye, queens. Yes, queens!